Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to look at the new dual model definitions for PSIM or SPICE models uh, available with PSIM version 11.1 .1 and higher if you have the SPICE module. And uh, to look at those things, we're going to look at this buck converter. So I am going to go into the uh, elements folder here into switches, and I'm going to pull up a MOSFET. The default MOSFET is an ideal switch. I'm also going to pull up a diode here right-clicking to orientate it in the direction I like and uh, we'll wire that in and I am going to trigger this uh, MOSFET with a 50% uh, duty cycle generated from this comparator circuit down here so that's 0.5 compared with a sawtooth of 1 at 100 kilohertz and we're going to grab this on-off controller this should be uh, so if you look down here there's two uh, on-off controllers this one here on the right is multi-level is multi-level here and this is the one I'm going to place. So I'm just going to place this right here and I'm going to wire it in. So this is an ideal circuit and we can run this. Uh, it's going to run with uh, these parameters. It will run for two milliseconds and we can go ahead. And uh, so there's the voltage across the FET. We can look at the output voltage here, transient response. And we can look at the uh, current through the FET and the uh, inductor current. So these are all some here. Well, let's get rid of this one screen, delete screen. And here are all the waveforms. We can zoom in over at the uh, steady state or close to over here. We haven't hit quite steady hit quite steady state, but we can see there's a little bit of ripple on the voltage still and the ripple on the inductor current here, as well as the uh, drain current, uh, the waveform here. So let's change these now to SPICE models. Uh, and so to do that, we'll do the MOSFET first. We'll go to the Simulation Models tab, and we will select different elements for simulation. So the piece of model was ideal, and we will use a SPICE model for the SPICE simulation, obviously. So we can choose between ideal uh, SPICE model, so this would be a, a basic NMOS uh, model, or a sub-circuit uh, variant. So these are typically the kind of models that manufacturers come out with. We will use a SPICE sub-circuit 5-pin and we'll select, um, and the reason for that is we will come back over here. So we see now we can choose between uh, all the various ones, so the 5-pin, and we are going to be using a model released by Cree for one of their silk carbide um, MOSFETs. And so we'll grab that and, and now that is automatically placed in circuit and we can see there's two extra nodes up here. These nodes define uh, temperature. So we will just uh, push these out to 27 and uh, 27 here, and we'll leave that at B, so that's 27 Celsius. And uh, then we need to configure this on-off controller. So currently it's set up to convert a control circuit into an ideal switch toggle, but we need to also configure it so that it can deal with a model. So control to model. We can see there's other options here for power to ideal or power to model, but we're dealing with control to model. So we'll go in here and we'll do, say, 15 volts is the high and minus 3 is the low and give ourselves a gate resistor, say 2.5 ohms, and we'll close that down. And then we can see there's another node added here, and we'll use that to reference our voltage to the source of the transistor. And then we'll come to the diode and we'll do the same thing. We'll select an ideal um, ideal instead of level two here and we'll also select a spice model and now we can choose uh, for spice which model we'll use and this uh, points to a all the spice libraries that I have um, not necessarily installed but I've pointed to so we'll organize all of the diodes by the rated current here and I'll pick up this RFN uh, device from ROM and you can see this is coming from my LT Spice ver ver version that I have installed here. So LT Spice, um, we're pulling in that model and we'll hit OK. Um, and then what we can do is just go up here and hit uh, run LT Spice. If we're going to run LT Spice uh, or we run uh, PSIM Spice. So the difference between PSIM Spice and LT Spice is syntax and model compatibility. They are not, they don't have equal libraries. You know, LT Spice models run with LT Spice and uh, PSIM Spice library uh, models run with PSIM Spice. There are models that work, some models that work with both models, but this Cree silk carbide model that we're using is only LT Spice compatible. So that means we need to run LT Spice. 
Uh, so if we just cycle back here and save this data as the PSIM simulation, uh, what I'll do now is we'll run LTSpice. And so what running LTSpice does is it generates a .cir file, and then that file is pushed to LTSpice, and then LTSpice runs the simulation for us and then reports the results back. And we've got those results right here. So V out, we'll look at that. Uh, we only ran for one millisecond, uh, and then we'll look at the drain current. And we can see right away there's, and we're now seeing the spike as a result of the reverse recovery of that uh, diode. Um, so we can actually merge these results. So PSIM, open, I drain. So the ideal simulation versus the non-ideal simulation. And we can also pull up uh, voltage across the FET. And um, what else can we pull up? We can look at IL, current through the inductor see if there's any changes. And we can see how things are different here. So when there's lots of current, we can see what's happening. And we can see there's recovery peaks and things like that. So this is, um, yeah, so this is, this is how it works. Uh, essentially, what you need to do is make sure you're using models that are going to be compatible with whatever engine you want. Double click over here on SPICE on the simulation control tab from the clock and choose your SPICE solve methods. And then once you're all set up here, um, you can run uh, PSIM. These are now gonna be identical. Or you can run the LT SPICE engine in the background. Um, and so when you're running the LT SPICE engine to set that up, you need to go to option set path. And just getting a little overwhelmed with all the uh, all the simulations that are popping up here close. So that uh, menu I was in options, set path, and then we're going to want to point to our LT Spice executable. And then also in the Spice model path here, you're going to want to point to all of your Spice libraries. So just add in these libraries and then when you, uh, when PSIM will load them up and then you can have a look to see all the Spice models that you have to find. If you go into uh, these lists here and you can see all the models that I've got here, uh, and then you can also go into the uh, sub-circuit model list and see all the sub-circuit models that I have installed. Okay, so that should help you um, as you move through your design processes here. Obviously, we would want to use the we would want to use PSIM for our system level simulations to start looking at design and control, make sure we've got enough inductor, inductance and capacitance, and then moving on to uh, spice modeling when we want to have a look to see, make sure that the devices aren't going to blow up with a DV by DT or something, or check out the gate drive uh, impacts. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial video. Uh, please check back for more detailed tutorial videos on the subject uh, coming soon.